Spring is upon us, and while many are looking forward to sunnier days and flowers in bloom, there's one spring staple you might not see around as often. The United States butterfly population is seeing an alarming decline, with a new study showing overall numbers went down 22% between 2000 and 2020, according to the most comprehensive study of their population yet. Researchers looked at more than 76,000 regional surveys to come to that conclusion. However, there is some encouraging news for these vital pollinators, at least in the eastern U.S. According to the World Wildlife Fund's annual report, the eastern monarch butterfly population, which is to the east of the Rocky Mountains, actually went up nearly doubling this year. Those butterflies travel to Mexico for the winter. The WWF tracks the population by how much space the insects cover in central Mexico's forests. This year, they occupied nearly four and a half acres, way up from 2.22 acres last year. Meanwhile, the western monarch butterfly population did go down. That population is tracked by the Xerces Society for Invertebrate Conservation. They count the number of monarch butterflies that migrate to the California coast, northern Baja and inland California, and Arizona each year. And this year, they recorded their lowest number ever. The drop in butterfly numbers in the U.S. mirrors the overall estimated average rate of insect loss of about 1 to 2 percent per year that has been seen around the world. This so-called insectageddon has dire implications for the world's food supply because about one-third of all crops depend upon pollinators, like butterflies and bees, to thrive. Thanks for watching our news update. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Kara Rucker. For more information on this story, you can download the Straight Arrow News mobile app today.